did good in my drills. Um, I believe I prepared well leading up to this day. So I feel like I had a really good day. Still your top uh, cornerback in the draft? Most definitely. I feel like I separated myself. Being able to compete well and do drills well and just be mentally focused and prepared for the next level. Why did you feel it was important to, to, to have more broadcasts today when you were up after you already did it at the combine? <coughs> well, I mean, the only thing I added today was the bench and the L drill. I didn't do bench because I didn't prepare for it as much. Um, training um, L drill, I did it because um, I didn't prepare a lot for it as well. So I just gave myself more time to get preparation. Um, use that time to come to Pro Day and do it. Right now, it's kind of maybe your most accessible goal to play yourself into a first round pick. I mean, I feel like I can be a first round corner, maybe the first round, first corner off the boards. So just like I said before, just my preparation and how I prepare myself and what I did during the time from combine to Pro Day. Do you feel like with all the attention the D-line got, maybe you slid under the radar a little more than you should have? I wouldn't say that as much. Um, those guys got a lot of um, great attention, which they earned. Uh, I just did what I was supposed to do and tried to be the best of me I can be. So I was not too much worried about that. Trayvon, what's this whole process been like? What are teams asking about you? And what do you tell them? It's been a great process. Uh, lots of teams just asking me questions about like growing up and family-wise and football, um, just normal <coughs> questions about the season. and. Just typical plays and things like that. Is there anything you're looking for with a fit in the NFL or wherever? I mean, I feel like I can go wherever and be a good fit for any team. What did it mean for you guys on the backside for all the defensive linemen to come back this year? Say that again? What did it mean for you guys to, to have all the defensive linemen come back this year? Uh, it, means, it means a lot. Um, those guys, they work hard. Uh, they prepare well. Um, they get every ounce that they have to be the best. <coughs> Kind of glad that this part of the whole process is over. Now you can just focus and talk about football and get rid of the draft. Yeah, right now you can talk to coaches and talk more ball and not have to be on the field. I mean, outside of training on your own and wherever you're training at, but more times to go to facilities and do private workouts with coaches and just get to know them more and uh, know what they like about you and what they think you need to get better out, better at, which can help you um, grow. How much do you pay attention to mock drafts and? This person says this and this person says that because there's so much of it and it, it, it affects your livelihood. Uh, that's one thing I don't pay attention to. Uh, most times it can tear you down. Some people let it get over their heads and made it hype them up. But at the end of the day, it comes down to the team and what they're like and what um, if you can fit their organization or whatnot. Mock drafts is just people just giving their opinion and how they feel and what they think you can fit at. Obviously an exciting time in your life, but has this been maybe more stressful, this whole process, than maybe what you thought it might be? I don't think so. Um, being able to handle it well, um, having a cousin like Lamar, being able to talk to him and ask him about the process and um, just how it went for him um, worked out really well for me. At what point during your, your junior season did you think, yeah, I think I'll be ready to leave at the end of the year? Obviously, you were dominating on your side of the field. But at what point did you say, yeah, I think this is – I'm going to make the move? I believe uh, coming into my junior year, uh, just how prepared I was and um, knowing the defense and knowing what coach wanted out of me as a player, uh, the leadership I had, and how accountable I was for the team. Uh, going deep into the season, I knew uh, the type of player I was and you know I had the ability to – take the step to the next level. So I would say like in the middle of my junior year. Why do you feel like you're the top corner in the draft? Just because I'm accountable, uh, trustworthy, uh, I'm a good teammate, good person, more than a ball player uh, that take care of himself. But you know, I can go play wherever. Uh, do you feel like winning the MVP of the title game gave you a huge boost to it in this process? Or was that kind of rather it's in insignificant in the grand scheme? I mean, it may have, it may have hurt. Um, helped me a lot being able to go in that game and be the defensive MVP and make a lot of plays and separate myself um, during that game, which helped me. That make any difference at all in your decision or had your decision already been made by that point? Uh, I think it helped my decision a little bit more. Uh, I would say, to be honest, it helped my decision. You mentioned a 